What's up everybody, I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and I, my mobile service guy just left my house. Really cool ride he's got. He came to install my garage door opener for the Model Y right here. And yes, they don't come installed already from the factory. They should in the Model 3 and the Model Y. Yeah, there's debatable whether they should even put them in there for free or have them in there so you can just pay for it. I don't know. I don't know the right answer for, to that. But he came out and installed it. And actually, I wanted to install it myself. You know, the box came to the house. It looks fairly easy, but there's some parts to it that you can't do yourself. So, But he showed me where it goes, and it's a lot easier to do in the Model Y than it is in the Model 3. So let me show you where it goes, and then I'll show you how to program it. It's really easy to program your garage door opener. Uh, you can program up to three of them. I'm gonna do this one here. Maybe we'll go up to the house, uh, front of the house and do one of the other garage doors. This garage is actually around the back of my house, and then up front there's a three-car garage up front there. So I think I'm just gonna do this garage, one upstairs, and then I'm gonna leave the third one for my mother-in-law's house. So when we go with this car, it automatically works because they're nice enough that they put a NEMA 1450 outlet in their garage for when we visit and we can park in the garage. How nice is that? Once you remove the frunk and everything, frunk sitting right over there, you'll see inside here, from some of the other videos, you see that there was a plug that was right here. Uh, it was kind of just sitting here, wrapped around everything. That actually is the garage door opener plug. You pull the end of it off and right inside here, it plugs into this bracket. This bracket is part of the device now. From the inside, you have to slide this. I wonder if I can pull this out. Let me, oh, yep, I can. Probably shouldn't do that. But this right here is the garage door opener. This is what you pay for, plus that bracket. So this plug would be right over there through this side. Uh, and you have to put that bracket in and it slides in. Yeah. I'm going to put that in with two hands. Hold on. So that clips right back into place and there's one screw that holds it in with these two tension or these two clips. Now that is all that's needed for the garage door opener to work, physically work, but you have to program the car now. So what he actually had to do Probably shouldn't show you. I'm not going to show you all of it. But what he had to do was disconnect the negative ter terminal on the battery, turn the car off with the screen in service mode, and then disconnect the main pack. This is why you need a Tesla service technician to do this. This is not something you can do yourself. But there is also software that he puts into the car through the, uh, it's not really the OBD2 port, but it's a ethernet port that you can plug in. Well, they can plug in their computers too. Then basically it allows the car to know that you have the garage door opener now. Without that, you won't be able to have that show up on your screen. Now that I have that on my screen, I can program my garage door openers. It says create, and now I can do that. I'm gonna pull the car outside so we can do this. All right, so I've got my car outside of the garage. My garage is right there. I've got my garage door opener, and we're going to program the garage. We got a GoPro up here, so all we need to do is press create home link. Now I'm going to name this show. That's the show garage door, and then enter. And then we, it's asking for standard, I don't remember this part, D mode. I don't know what D mode is. I believe we have a standard. So I'm going to set mode. So we're going to stand in front of the car. We're going to make sure we have, we're outside of the garage. We have the remote. We're going to go in front of the car with the remote and hold it in front. Well, we know it's right there. So we're going to hold this down. Now the garage door is going to close behind us, but we're waiting for the lights to flash. Can't really tell if they flash or not. There we go. The lights turned on. That way we know it collected the signal. Now I'm going to open the garage up again because I have to hit the, rem the learn button on the remote. So I'm going to hit continue. Now we have to go hit the learn button, which luckily I'm tall. I can reach it. But usually a lot of these have a learn button and that is usually right at the base. Mine is right here. I just hit learn. It starts to flash and then it allows the signal to work somehow 
It's like magic, I think. We hit continue and now it is programming it. Training complete. We hit continue. Now we're gonna just test it. We hit show. Nothing happened. We hit show and now it works. So it's starting to work now. So we wanna make sure we test it to make sure it works. And now that's the screen we get. We're gonna click save. And now comes the fun part. We can customize how we want this. I don't need the automatic folding mirrors, but I do want it to open on arrival and close when we leave. I'm gonna turn on the chimes, so I like to know when it's actually doing that. Um, and you can adjust these. I can't remember what my last car was, but I'm gonna play with 70 feet and then see how that goes. Uh, and then that's it, that's all you have to do. You don't have to hit program. You can reset the location if you'd like to, but there's really no need because you're standing in front. That's pretty much it. Now, if you wanna do another garage door opener, you just hit that and then you name the front one. So we're gonna, let's go up to the front and do the big garage door. So we're gonna name it big. Let's go up to the front garage door. We're gonna program that. I've got that remote right here and it's all gonna be done on the GoPro here. All right, so I'm in park. We have the garage door opener. I got the garage door opener in hand. We're gonna set mode. We're gonna continue. We're gonna get out and hold the button. All right, that flashed. Now we're gonna have to hit the learn button because this one has that as well. It's nice being tall. So now it's training it. And before we hit save, we're gonna test it. We hit the button. Usually it takes a couple times. Now it's closing. Uh, for some reason it takes a couple times. I don't know why, but now we can save that. Now I'm not gonna set this to automatically open uh, because I'm gonna use the one downstairs mostly. So this garage door opener is a must for Tesla, I believe. I think most people will buy the garage door opener and that's probably one of the reasons they make it $300 and make it so easy to install for their people. Um, but it's really nice how they offer three garage door openers. I wish you could add more, although I really don't need that little garage door opener there. That's why I'm using the third one for my mother-in-law's house. And I will set up that one to automatically open and automatically close when I get there. So you can have two of them do that. You don't, you, or you're actually all three. So if you had a work garage or a gate to your community or at work or something like that, you can use those, uh, that proximity, that GPS location, and it'll automatically do that. So that's really awesome that Tesla offers that. So if you want to get this, you have to, when you order your Model Y, you definitely want to go to tesla.com and go to the, the shop section and order this. It comes to your house, which is really weird. They used to send them to the delivery, or they used to send them to the service center. But now that a mobile service guy can do this, they've been doing it, really painless. He can do it anywhere, really. He can show up to your work if, well, when people go back to work, he can show up to your work and put it in there because you don't need to take the bumper off anymore. You used to have to take the bumper off in the Model 3s. So go make sure you order that, or you can use, you, you can still continue using your garage door opener, whatever you like, but I personally like this. So if you like this, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I put out new videos because there's gonna be a lot more on this Model Y. I've got a lot coming, a lot of cool stuff coming, a lot of different stuff. And as always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.